What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Kardashians Weekly. Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Jenner are both pregnant, and Kim has a surrogate. Lots of people are pregnant, lots of people making babies. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> what is up, you guys? Welcome back to Kardashians Weekly. This is our second recap episode. We are so excited with our new reformatted show. We've got lots of new segments for you, and we have a whole new panel. So why don't we introduce ourselves? Welcome the lovely... Ginwa. Hey, guys. You can, <laughs> you can find me on my social media links, uh, Twitter and Instagram at Ginwazi. Hey everybody, it's Howard the Third. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Howard the Third, and of course my website, howardthethird.com. Hey guys, my name is Shanti. You can find me on Instagram at Shanti underscore Christina. And what is up, you guys? You can find me everywhere on social media at Mr. Dakota T. Jones. We are so excited to be back. Full panel this Full time. Full panel. Yeah, we're all here. It's so exciting, you guys. We we're just so excited to bring this new formatted show to you. And um, without further ado, we've got a lot of tea to spill today. So mm -hmm. why don't we go ahead and get to tea time? Let's do it. Anyone ready for this? I'm ready for it. Does anyone need tea, or are we all good? I'm mm -hmm. good with my ready put tea before yeah. the episode. Okay. Sorry, guys. There you go. There you go. Yeah, if you, you need any tea, you. we're. I just wanted to cheers do you. Need you. Some more? Good, no, today good. we've got like a okay. blueberry mixed with like a pumpkin spice tea, which is oh, very. Perfect. For the fall season, I know. basic, basic fancy. pumpkin spice. Flavor. I'm kind of like interested to see the blueberry mixes with the pumpkin spice, but we're gonna see here. <laughs> I've never heard of that flavor. Whoa. It's a lot. We're gonna we're gonna let that simmer a little bit. Um, right. But you guys, let's talk about this tea time. We've got a lot to talk about. Okay, so TMZ, we love them, and you know what's funny is more times than not they are really like legit like mm -hmm. they know what they're mm -hmm. talking about and if TMZ says it now I'm like oh it must be true mm -hmm. yeah they have a lot of true mm -hmm. reports usually they're pretty spot on yeah, yeah. and uh, they report that Chloe is pregnant and she's about three months along and the the baby daddy is Tristan Thompson mm -hmm. what do you guys think of this this is shocking coming shocking. off the news that Kylie's pregnant What's I'm, going on? I'm happy. I mean, I love Chloe. I've made no little secret about that. You know, she's my girl. Um, <laughs> so she deserves her happiness. I mean, it's been a year. Uh, she seems like she's very, like, invested in him, and he's very invested in her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe she's probably going to be a great, maybe she's a great stepmother already because Tristan already has a nine-month-year-old. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, um, you know, she deserves her baby. She deserves it. Yeah, I, I feel like... Um, Chloe has wanted kids for so long, and we've been able to see that, especially on um, Chloe and Lamar. I feel like her um, main desires are having a husband and family. That's kind of what I get from her. Like, that's her kind of true dream. So I'm excited for her because I know it's kind of been a long struggle. Um, mm -hmm. But also, yeah, Tristan just had a baby. That's kind of weird, right? Oh, yeah. Like, he just had a baby. Wow. Yeah, you know, it's a little drama. He's yeah. very lucky with her. It's a whole other story. <laughs> that's all I'm thing. excited it's for so Chloe. Weird. I think I'm more excited for Chloe being pregnant than Kylie. I just feel like Chloe's mm -hmm. more ready yeah. to be a mother than Kylie is. And they seem like they're very happy together. So congrats, Chloe. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the timing again. I know I was wrong, and I said uh. in the last... <laughs> Last episode that Chloe is not no not Chloe Kylie. Kylie's not pregnant and I think she is right yeah. Yeah. hasn't been, it hasn't been confirmed by her but 99.9% mm -hmm. she is pregnant yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I was right that it was such a strategic move that they announced that Kylie and Chloe are both pregnant around the premiering of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's For so sure. true. Yeah. yeah. The only thing is, my biggest thing was, I, I was like, oh, you know what? Kylie is Kim's surrogate. Like, that's what's going on. <laughs> um, now that Chloe's pregnant, who knows? Maybe, because Chloe has, in, in previous episodes, stated that she would be Kim's surrogate if she wanted. So and what if Chloe? Reasonable. Yeah, what would I mean? I no, personally would I don't love. Think she I've is. seen like a report where they've shown their surrogate walking yeah. around. It's not one of the sisters. I saw. It Wait, too. you saw like a report with like the actual mm -hmm. surrogate? I saw the photo. Yeah. yeah. What does she yeah. look like? She's she's black. African American. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she's black. I mean, they didn't show her face to protect her privacy, but yeah, go ahead, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. I'm like, what does she look like? <laughs> she's black. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I definitely gotta look this up. Yeah, so I, I don't think I think that uh, is fake news. I okay. Mean, this, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see. I kind of want it to be one of the girls. Like I think that'd be like a whole other. Like I'd love to see this play out on the show. 
But, but I don't think that's like a luc- lucratively a smart decision. Like, mm-hmm. how would that help their brand at all? You know what I mean? Like, ruining one of their bodies for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> you know true. What I'm that's true. Um, but can we talk about how this family just apparently doesn't show? Because, like, let's talk about this. Kylie, we can kind of see a little bit, but for her to be able to be like three months, maybe four months along, like, she's not big. Like, she's. At all. If anything, no. it just looks like maybe she's just like had a little bit too much Chinese food that day and like, <laughs> maybe a little bloated. But that's it. <laughs> I thought Kylie was six months. No, I don't I, think so. Well, she's she was like five to seven. I, I did too. Maybe she is. I don't remember. Yeah. I'll have to. I'll have to look that. Either way, that she again. should be showing more than she is. Yeah. She's three months, three four months along. Oh. Okay. Yeah. How long? How? Uh, we'll what about check Chloe? that. I know. What about Kylie? Chloe? Just call. Well, me. I'm just saying. <laughs> someone that I know kind of told me that. Okay. Someone uh, who's kind he of always like, has the inside. I have an inside guys. scoop. <laughs> what about Chloe though? Do you know how long has she been pregnant for? I heard she was three months. That's what I heard too. So like everyone's a, having a baby around the same time. Because Kim's surrogate is apparently due in February, allegedly. Wow, that's a new generation of keeping up with the future Kardashians. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's crazy. But they, and like, I feel like they just don't show. Like, I, they're not pregnant. Like, I can't see. No, I, had, I noticed nothing about Kylie. Like, she's yeah. still a skinny little 20 year old. Yeah, it's crazy. Not seeing anything. Not even seeing that Chinese food meal. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of Kylie, we have some new videos. She actually posted her first YouTube video ever, which was like a makeup review with her uh, best friend Jordan Woods. And she has some new shades, which is really cool. And we actually have a photo of her with her um, BFF Jordan. And they are doing their... Uh, okay, here we go. And, oh, okay. So they're saying, like, like I, think, I thought she did an amazing job. But then all of a sudden, everyone's like commenting, like, girl, nobody cares about your lip kits. Spill the tea about your pregnancy. Like, she she looks looks so mean in that picture, by the way. Her face looks a lot fuller than it is. Does it come with a baby daddy? Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) But do you think we would really be saying that she looks different if we didn't know that she was pregnant? No, no, we wouldn't. Mm -hmm. We would not. Yeah. Um, And then the next photo we have um, coming up here is the new shades of lip kit. This is her fall lip kit colors. I like what she did with the box. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, And the purple color is actually really neat. I kind of like that one. But I like the gold. The one all the way to the right. Is that like a gold metallic shade? The one on the left or the right? Right. The right. All the way on the right. I kind of like it. It almost kind of looks like... This whole gold tone, metallic vibe it has been in for the past God knows how many months. I mean, mm-hmm. from Fenty Beauty's like, highlighter to now Kylie's lip kit. I, I like it a lot. When do you need a purple lip color is my question. For what occasion? A night Halloween. out on the town. Whenever hey. you need gold. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you can rock a purple lip with just basic eye makeup. Like Even just put a purple lip and then just put a little bit of foundation and that's all you need. Kudos to whoever can pull that off because I definitely yeah. I could. And you know I what? Know. I think that's why she came out with it during Halloween because she also came out with like an eye, another eye palette, um, eyeshadow palette, mm-hmm. and I think it was called the Purple Collection or something. So oh, it's like hmm. a lot of kind of Halloween. It, it's the right time, you know. Mm-hmm. Fall. Like, I kind of, I kind of like that. But um, something that fans were saying is that this YouTube video was shot from the shoulders up, just again to kind of like bring the focus away from her midsection and so she could maybe hide it for a little bit I don't bit understand right. why she's not going on camera and just confessing that she's pregnant. I don't know why she's holding back. Is she just trying to for the get more, probably more buzz from the media? Mm-hmm. Smart move, Kylie, but we need answers. So. We need answers, <laughs> Sooner, this, If she were to come out and say, oh, yes, I'm pregnant, she would lose her little endorsement deal. She would lose, you know, just a little bit more from the money. If she yeah. does it smart with, like, 2020 or the Today Show, like, oh, well, maybe I will buy her lipstick because she is pregnant and now she's the baby lipstick line, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, baby that was a stretch. Listen, you better I think about that money. Lipsticks. You know, Chris is thinking, mm-hmm. and I think like Chris. Yeah. That's why she needs yeah. to come up in here and manage me. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Oh, um, something that Shanti was telling me earlier. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on right now with Rob. So Rob is apparently suing China for attacking him on December 14th after she consumed drugs and alcohol. Um, She FaceTimed some of Rob's friends while having a gun, pointing the gun to the camera. She tried strangling him with an iPhone charger, strikes him on the head, throws a chair at his car, hits him in the head with a metal rod. Um, crazy. Yeah, and is there there's... actual footage of her doing that? <laughs> I doubt it. Well, this is this is what the lawsuit says. So yeah, this, this is, is pretty like concrete information that you know if they're using it in court, then it, it happened. Yeah, I mean, you know? what we hope so. I'd hate for Rob to just make everything. I mean, up, I knew yeah. China's Black crazy. China was she... crazy, but I did not know she was that crazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's pretty it makes crazy. Sense? Is anybody shocked? No, no. Because no. okay, if she's acting as crazy as she did on Rob in China, like in front of cameras, imagine what she would do with the cameras away. Scary. Poor Rob. I, and well, also, I believe Kylie is on that lawsuit because yep. she also threatened Kylie. 
Was she threatened her or said something about what? Having STDs and... Possibly because of Tyga? Yeah, just harassing her, essentially. So Kylie is also on that lawsuit, which is very interesting. Yeah, not only that, but she's also on the lawsuit because there was over $100,000 worth of damage oh, right. done to her house because China was having her parade of fish. Yes. Wow. So Rob, I think the story was Rob was is staying at one of Kylie's houses, and that's why it occurred there, and she just did a bunch of damage, which is... It's like, it's how, how much stuff do you have to do? Like, $100,000 worth of damage. Like, what are you doing? Are you like, taking what? a baseball bat? <laughs> and, like, like yeah. oh, gosh. Man, I just can't with her. Like, that's just, that's she, just like, oh, I didn't get my way. That's, no, that's not no. even that. That's, this, that's psycho. That's yeah. Crazy. No, it's crazy in the head. <laughs> yeah. And also, they're stuck together, which is a sad thing, because of the kid. Yeah. She mm. just, like, she, they can't get rid of her now. <laughs> I honestly, I know China tries to play the, like, the innocent, like, oh, I just fell she's in love. She's not. <laughs> she didn't fall in love. She only did this no, to trap so him, planned. and so she can yeah. be attached to something that's going to make her so bigger. Planned. I it's agree. definitely a revenge uh, thing. This sounds so bad. I really didn't know who Black China was before I Rob. I didn't either. Honestly. So she did her job. This no, was she, she yeah. this was a plot, China. You know I love you, but she knew she was getting back at Kylie when she got with Rob, and then this was the whole thing: the money, yeah. the. But how how naive can Rob be though? He didn't see it coming. I mean, he's down. He's depressed. Yeah. When she gets someone, you're vulnerable. You know, no um, ideas out there. But uh, <laughs> when you get somebody who's that down and that so insecure, and you come in there and you show them the bright lights and all of yeah. this stuff. Rob fell for it, which is sad. Unfortunate. But the but world was telling him, like, you know, Black China, mm -hmm. she's not new to this game. I know. I feel like Rob really did just jump full, like, like just face first into this whole thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, I, I mean, I would like to think that he knew what was kind of happening, or maybe he was just so excited because he's like, oh my gosh, I want to get some action. Like, you know, it's Black China. Like, this yeah. is going to be good for me to get me out of the house. I did like that it got him out of the house, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I, it did a lot of damage to him and the family. It did. And now a poor child has to be brought into this yeah. situation. Yeah. That's the most disappointing. Because mm -hmm. I mean, neither of them are really stable. So to have a child be brought into a situation like that, it's very sad. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. I agree. Sure. But I wish them only the best, and especially Rob. We're rooting for you. We are. Just be a good dad and love your child because mm -hmm. at least one good thing came out of this mess. Mm -hmm. You guys True. agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Baby Absolutely. James, cute. Very cute. I know. That was so cute. Anyway, let's talk about Courtney because she's confirmed recently on social media that her and I don't know how to say his name, Yoon's. I don't um, see his name for either. the first time, kind of confirmed on social media that they were in on vacation from photos in Paris and everything. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, so it's kind of kind of neat. And then this photo here is of Scott. Scott's been kind of going around a little bit. He left Bella Thorne for another teenager, Sophia Ritchie, um, <sighs> who is Lionel Ritchie's daughter. And she's also 19 years old. If you yeah. that is that is just crazy. It's so it's, it's, it's weird. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and actually, he posted a Snapchat or Instagram story. I think it was yesterday, and they were on a private plane, and she was there with him. So oh, this is like yesterday. there with him. I was like, what are you doing? Oh no, by there, like next to him. Oh, okay. So they were okay. they were hanging out yesterday. Is my point. I was like, here they are again. Um, this is just uncomfortable. It's so weird. What did they talk about? I don't know. What did they talk about? I don't know. Honestly, props to Courtney for being civil with Scott because at the premiere they seem so cute together and mm -hmm. you know they're I, very civil. They're very. I cannot well, be civil we with a see. guy that's mm -hmm. dating a nineteen-year-old. I mean, that's pretty intense. But also, she is dating. How old is he? Oh, he's, he's pretty like young. Thirty-four. No. No. no, no, no he's no, no, in his twenties. No. Scott? No, no, no. No, no, no. no. I jumped oh, the guy. Courtney. Oh. Yeah, Courtney's <laughs> boyfriend <laughs> is like twenty-one years old. How old is Courtney? She's about to be forty. Thirty-eight. Like, that is weird, too. It's both so creeper, like Raven, Robin the Cradle. Both but, of them. But I feel like Courtney probably did it just out of revenge. Well, Scott, see, you can get a young girl while I can be with a young guy, too. The only too. thing is, the it's way so I think it, it's really sweet between them, though. They actually seem like they're really intimate. They're very, like, together. And here, I'll use you like this. <laughs> like, they're just like, oh, we're in Paris at the... Look at me, you know, like oh god, Paris. and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they just seem very in love, and like with Scott, it's just like, hey, yo, Bella Thorne, or hey, Sophia Ritchie, you want to hook so up? Like, cute. yeah, it's just like a one night. On yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. want to say it, but yeah, yeah. I know what you. Like, you know what? You know what yeah. I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then um, lastly, I'm so excited. Um, Revenge Body season two has been announced, and it will premiere December 10th. Um, the season one cast here in this photo spread the word by posting this awesome photo of them. And oh my gosh, you guys, if you haven't watched this show, you need to see Great their before show. pictures. Mm -hmm. This is their after pictures, and they look incredible. I have some friends in this photo, and um, for the next season, we're excited to cover it here on our Kardashians Weekly mm -hmm. panel. And we're going to be having some guests because I have some connections to this show, and I'm so excited. Yay. 
So we're going to try to bring in some of the contestants, some of the old contestants that I'm friends with, and um, hopefully we can get um, a little word from some of the trainers, because I know some of them too. So I'm Yay! excited. Very it's going to be so much fun. Um, but yeah, so I love Tea Time. I think it's my favorite segment because I'm always down to talk about like what's yes. going on. Um, but before we get into the episode discussion, I did want to tell you guys about something very, very neat that's premiering October 11th on The CW. Ooh. It's the highly anticipated series premiere of Dynasty. Have you guys seen the original Dynasty? It is the um, one of the most iconic shows of the 80s. The fashion and the fight scenes alone are legendary. It's the CW's version of Dynasty, and it's already getting major props from the critics, and you guys will not be able to get enough of the drama and su surprises oh. and suspense. It's crazy. But get ready, because the women on this show are bosses. Oh. Boss like the Kardashians. I like that. I like that. <laughs> they're not fighting for a man. They're fighting for business and family. And for the Carringtons, that's the same thing. I love mm. that. I love well, that. Right, Very Kardashian-esque. Um, but like don't it. miss the series premiere, you guys. It is of Dynasty Wednesday, October 11th. After the season premiere of Riverdale, only on the Ooh. CW. Yes, Yay. I don't know. Riverdale. Awesome. Riverdale, cool. too. I love... I, CW's got some great shows. Yeah. Yeah. They do. I am obsessed with that channel. Um, but let's get into this episode discussion. Today, the episode is titled Cleveland Show, which was kind of like a funny generic mm -hmm. title, but it really went along, because I did. cannot tell you, if we played a drinking game, and like every time they said the word Cleveland, we took a shot, we would be gone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving yes. on. So, um, what did you guys think of this cute little Hollywood reporter... Oh, I Shoot. loved it. Cute. I loved that they were all together. What about yeah. you guys? It was a pretty picture. I enjoyed it. It was cute. Like, and I yeah. love the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, I always like that mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's cute to see. Um, so we're going to kind of break this down into like little segments and kind of talk about it full through and then skip to another topic. So Chloe. Chloe has traveled the past eight months to Cleveland back and forth. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I mean, for me, it, it, time's gone by so fast, I didn't realize they've been together for eight months already. What about you guys? Yeah. yeah I didn't realize that either. Time passed super That's quick. That's crazy. And yeah. I love how, like, Malika was like, are you going to invite me and pretty much invited herself to the family <laughs> trip? I love Malika. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. She's she such a good cute. friend. She I love really their is. house. I need a friend like that. What? The house. I love the house and how she has it decorated. Oh, Chloe. So cute. Yeah. 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 And her closet. Oh I love how gosh. Malika was just so, so like even whenever she had to leave her like she started shaking and like crying like she had to leave her best that friend. That like girl calm that's down. That's cute though. That, that's I think she so was drunk. Me. I think she was drunk. That's so, so me. I always cry when I say goodbye to my best friends. Oh. I know I'm extra but it's, it's true. You know. Girl I'll just FaceTime you when I get home. <laughs> uh, it yeah. is not that serious. You with your man I'm going home to my boo. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> you're just Nobody a friend. Nobody cries when they leave me. Exactly. Cause I'm gonna see you later. Like I'll call you. Yeah. Yeah. I think after you travel so much though like for me at least I used to like you know be really sad and get really emotional every time I had to leave my best friend but then now we're just like alright peace girl I'll see you later like yeah. mm -hmm. I'll see you when I get back or we'll exactly. FaceTime like it's, it, that's just mm -hmm. how it goes um, but something that I really like to see in this episode is how they were not bombarded on this walk that they did they were yeah. kind of a little bit but yeah. They, they could walk on the street and like I seeing them like walk and have only like two people like screaming their name. But I'm pretty mm. sure it was like super early in the morning and like there was probably true. bodyguards like around them but you couldn't see it. I mean oh, realistically, true. if the Kardashians are walking down, I'm pretty sure there's a huge crowd that's gonna be around them. So I'm pretty sure it was probably during times that nobody's outside on the street. Yeah. Well I thought they were walking to dinner, were they not? Well it was during oh, the day. Yeah. They kinda like progressed throughout their like, day at what uh, dinner ish like six something. Yeah. yeah. But as the day know. went along, more people showed up. And yeah, showed up. and but then if by they, the end yeah. of the dinner, there was the group of people right. outside. Mm -hmm. But for Chloe, I feel like there wouldn't be as much going on whenever she's just there to have fun um, with Tristan and stuff. Like, they're, they're not filming the show, and it's more of just about her being there. So maybe she's a little bit more low profile, and she can get away with walking around more. Obviously, there's always going to be security, but because they're filming, they've got big cameras out. Yeah. They've yeah. got people around, security. they got all the girls. Of yeah, course, yeah. they're going to attract more attention. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, something interesting that I was like, oh my gosh, that like Courtney even said in this like little truth or dare thing mm -hmm. at mealtime that it, if the time was right, she would possibly get back, not get back, but like have another child with Scott. Mm -hmm. That is so weird to me. It's like he's so he's so uh, instable in every way, shape, or form yeah. mentally, <laughs> and they've created three beautiful kids. Don't get me wrong, but why do it again with him? Like. He's just obviously unstable, yeah. in yeah. my opinion. And it's like seasons after seasons that we've heard this kid, story. And a fourth kid, Courtney? I think yeah. three, three is <laughs> enough. Well, I mean, like, she can afford him. 
Yeah, she, she can't can. afford them. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Well, she's True. probably like, bop about one, two, three. You know? <laughs> All she has she to can. do nowadays is like sneeze and her baby comes out like, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. I'm just like, wow. I mean, she bounces back so with her body. Like, I know. I don't get it. I love it though. I don't know what they do, but they look good. She, I know. And Courtney is like the mother of mothers. Like, I feel like she's such a good mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But seeing her kind of open up and kind of as she's getting over Scott, being more fun and like, all right, whoever doesn't ride this ride is an idiot. Like, having fun and like mm-hmm. bullying people on the ride. She has <laughs> yeah. that youthful spirit back in her. She does, yeah. for sure. But you didn't see before. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. hadn't seen it in a long time. Because she was very uptight and like always stressed and like crying and like almost emotionless because she was trying to cover up what was going on underneath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was yep. sad. Um, but Chloe does a house tour of Tristan's while Tristan's not home. And it was just so cute to see like she really is moving in. Like she's got a lot of stuff there. What did you think about yeah. that? I'm happy for Chloe. I mean, you know, whether she wants to move to... I think even moving to Cleveland is, is good for her, to be honest with you. She went through a lot, and I feel like, especially with Lamar and all the past relationships that she had, so to be in a relationship that's healthy is totally worth the move, especially that, I mean, she is a successful person. She's the only one in the family that actually has a college degree as well from what I've heard. Oh, yeah. um, I mean, she could focus on, I don't know, starting her own business while she's there, just truly focus on herself and not on the drama. And then they seem like such a cute couple together, so I'm very happy for them. Oh, mm-hmm. I love that. I yeah. think it'd be cute if they opened up like a dash in Ohio. Yeah, I mean, you never know. They could expand, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're it could be cute. international, but yeah. yeah. It could be cute. Um, let's jump topics Dash to something a little bit more serious. <laughs> We've got a lot going on with this whole Kindle Pepsi controversy. Yes. Um, yeah. A lot going on with that. Um, I have seen the commercial. We've all seen the commercial. Um, but not really talking about that. Let's talk more about what happened tonight. Seeing Kindle, no matter what you all think, what the side is, mm-hmm. whose side you're on, seeing Kindle break down like that, like this obviously affected her too. She was sad. She was hurt that she hurt other people. She may have felt like she just kind of went along and like, okay, for this shot, you're going to do this. For this shot, you're going to do this. And as it was all pieced together, then once she kind of watched it back, maybe she realized what people meant by them saying they were offended. Um, But what did you think when you saw her just like breaking down in tears? It just broke my heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, you could definitely tell it was not scripted. I mean, sometimes during the confessionals or, you know, when they're just having their little talk, I'm like, all right, that's so scripted. Like, that's so not genuine. But honestly, it it, it was very genuine. And I could tell that she did not mean to harm anybody. Um, I mean, I watched the commercial. And at first, when I watched it, I didn't really see anything wrong with it but then when I heard other people's perspectives I'm like okay now I get it so mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that felt that way so I do get where Kendall is coming from mm-hmm. it's it's a sucky situation to be in mm-hmm. yeah it's her first big scandal as it her really and Kendall is. is saying it really is yeah, it's just it, it really does suck and it's like Kendall's just there she's doing her job you know what I mean like usually you're the model you're not gonna look over the script and you know do all that extra yeah. stuff she's there to get paid hand the can go home where's her yeah. manager like, though hand the can <laughs> no, but that hands was the amazing. Can. You know what I mean? Like she literally there. hands the can. hands the can. Hey y'all, and she gone. Yeah. So it's really not her fault. She's just doing a job. And I feel like yeah. she's young as well. And I mean, doesn't she have a manager? Like, why wasn't her manager well, there? And they probably would have given her better advice well, on wait. whether this I'm was sure going to harm Chris her or not. Was there. I think Chris didn't think anything of it. Well, then. well yeah, Pepsi, because you they trust didn't, them, they didn't, right? Yeah, I don't think anybody realized what was wrong with the commercial mm-hmm. obviously until it aired and then all the backlash happened. I get what they were trying to do with it I get what they were trying to do with right. it they were trying to make yeah. like unity let's all be together right. but the way it came across and the way that they I mean let's be honest if this commercial would have been a hit like oh all inclusive like everyone mm-hmm. is working together to end you know everything that's going on mm-hmm. bad in the world I get that, but at the same time, Pepsi would be cashing off that. Mm. Cashing off issues, like making money off of those issues. I agree, and think about it for a second. If the video wasn't so, wasn't such a big controversy, do you think it would have been that popular? I mean, that's something that I thought about as well. I'm like, maybe it was done on purpose. So it could evoke some emotions from the audience. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, but either way, I still feel bad for Kendall. I I mean, she's... She's just, just like, I want to do my job. Yeah. Know, yeah. And that's one thing, but it's hard for her. You know, she is really young, but she needs to just understand, like, you're not going to please everybody. Can Everybody's going to have something to say. Since we're talking about Kendall, you guys, can we talk about her lip injections, please? please? Oh, my God, you guys. Her lips are Let's so... Let's sip some tea for this. Hold on. Oh, Lord. Oh, my. But like, okay. why? But yeah. why? Why did she need to do that? Why? Why? She's, She's a, so beautiful. It was extra. She's so natural. She's beautiful. Either way. But, um... God. 
for her, because she said before, oh, Kylie just overlined my lips on this one thing, which may have been, mm-hmm. right. but nowadays, like, like when you she turned to the tell. side, you it was like a, yeah. like a thicker the upper lip. lip. Yeah. You could tell. <laughs> the Which, duck lip. That's you know what? It is. It is. It is. <laughs> it's like we're not judging. We're just saying like you know maybe maybe own up to it whenever someone asks. Like She's, I think I think Kendall. I mean, when you talk about the Kardashians, some people stand out to you more than others. But when people say Kendall. She's the most natural one out natural of all of them because she got the least work done. And now with the lip injections, I'm like, no, please don't follow that path. Because she was just so natural. She's, She's gorgeous. She is. So beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. It's like, ugh. I know. It makes me sad. I know. <laughs> Either way, she's still beautiful, but just, girl, you don't need anything. You're, yeah. you're wonderful no, you the way you are. Need it. Yeah. yeah. At least it's just lip injections. I mean, it goes after six months, though. That's true. Right. I mean, and I, it's I, temporary. I yeah. did really mm-hmm. respect how Kylie came forth and said, hey, I got lip injections and this is why. Like, I appreciated that from her because mm-hmm. it was honest and it was like, hey, I didn't like this about myself. I changed it. Just wanted you to know, not trying to hide anything. I, I That's like pretty, that. Yeah. yeah. You think Kendall will tell us? Like, do a little, no. like, oh, no. I don't well, think I don't think people are gonna too. know. Like a, I don't think a lot of people are gonna know. Or do you think people will know? People know. I mean, we yeah. we saw. Uh, I was like, we know. <laughs> we picked up on a quick. So. Yeah, we're like. Eh. <laughs> and lastly, I want to talk about Caitlyn for a little bit. We won't go too much into it because it's like the same story each time. But um, she just keeps on with this book, man. I need to read this book because apparently it's lit. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's so a much lot. information. I know, but uh, just a few topics that they talked about was that she got gender reassignment surgery, like the final, final surgery, and she didn't tell Chris, she didn't tell anyone except for, I think she told Kendall and Kylie before the book came out. Um, so she told her direct children, and then mm-hmm. other than that, left everyone mm-hmm. else in the dark. So seeing Chris cry, it really did make me sad. I was like, oh, Chris, like, I get what you're going through. You know, yeah. like, like I, I can't even imagine, but I can I can put myself in that frame of mind, and I would be really sad and hurt. Like, it's one thing this that she's going through these things and these changes, but to not tell anyone and not tell your own family what's going yeah. on, like, that's just, you know, you should at least have the decency to tell your family before you tell the world. I'm just starting to think Caitlin does not see them as family. That's sad. Yeah, I, mean, I think no they're really not yeah. removed. It would just be so weird. Can you imagine being married to somebody for X amount of years, having two kids with them, Ooh. and then like everything happening? It just yeah. be it would be yeah. like it's such hard. a weird, it's hard. shocking right. uh, feeling. But there's that, and then there's what Caitlin is doing, where she's just like doing all of that, but then not treating her family mm-hmm. right at the same time. So it's right. almost yeah. not even like a transition issue. It's a Caitlin issue. Like yeah. she needs to realize that she can't be secretive and catty and you know, telling stories about how Robert Kardashian only um, mm-hmm. represented OJ to kind of out of spite for Chris and like Chris's new mm-hmm. relationship so whenever up. she was with. It's just like, how much hatred did you have all those years? Like, mm. what exactly? What really made you be that evil after like 23 years? Like, these yeah. were your pretty much your kids. I know. You know, you came into Rob's uh, yeah. Rob's life, Rob Jr., when he was pretty much a baby. True. And then. You grew up with this whole family, like after twenty three years, and then you're gonna say, "Oh, all this other stuff." Like, yeah. that's messed up, Caitlin. It Get is it yeah. together. It's yeah. weird. It's out, it's kind of out of nowhere, almost. Right. And like Kim even called her and said, "Yo, I'm not even gonna talk to you about what I really want to talk to you about. Leave Kendall out of this whole Pepsi thing. Don't talk about it. Just let it alone." And of course, Caitlin had to go in in this radio interview and be mm-hmm. like, "Well, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Just run the dang thing." Where she said that <laughs> in the phone call <laughs> to to Kim, but then she ended like, up talking about it on the radio. I don't think Caitlyn <laughs> means any harm when it comes to Kylie and Kendall. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about the Kardashians, but for the yeah. Jenners, I'm pretty sure she has their best interest in mind. But she just doesn't know how to act, and she sa- she just needs a filter mm-hmm. on what yeah. to say and what not to say exactly. in the media. Yeah. Exactly. Do you think she's just trying to stay like relevant? Is I that think why she she's is. doing all this like? Let's be honest. Talk? Nobody's really talking about her recently no offense and but then I her mean, show did get canceled too but it's so yeah. weird because she used to not be like that like when she was right. bruce like she didn't he didn't like the the fame and the cameras and wanted to stay at yeah. home at night and be, do his airplane thing mm-hmm. and so that was do you think now he's made this total 360 and now this is kind of who she really is i would yeah. say that obviously like she suppressed a lot in her past mm-hmm. so for now she's just like out there like like, like really vomit. just living her life but yeah. like at the same yeah. time hurting people along the way which is sad exactly yeah. um, but uh, something that I am excited for this is a new segment called Kardashian Corner um, and we are going to tell you guys <laughs> whose side we are on each week about different um, like different situations yeah so there's three situations so between Chris and Kate who do you sympathize with more in this situation three or tell me when you're ready oh everyone gosh. ready me. yes three 
Hold on. Two. Uh, Shawty, why can I see your answer? Uh, three. <laughs> two. One. <laughs> Team right. Chris all the way. We love you, Mama Chris. <laughs> We love you, Mama Chris. Um, but we have all their heads sure. cut out. It's super cute. And uh, yeah, anyway, so next situation. So Kim was kind of saying, I don't know. Chloe seems like she's kind of throwing her life um, right into this relationship and just giving all to her man by being away. She said, maybe that's a little too much. Do you agree? Just giving up her career yeah. and moving to Cle Cleveland for a man. So um, between Kim and Chloe, who do you agree with more? Do you like that Chloe's doing this and is really putting her love life first? Or do you agree with Kim that career and family should come first and she should not be with Tristan? I mean, she didn't want him not to be, but like, it's a little, yeah. you know, anyway. Ready? Three, two, one. What? what? I did both. both. Oh my Shanti, God. what's Why happening? Did I, do both? I feel like Chloe, like she said, she like throws away everything for her man, like puts her whole life on hold for she her does. relationship, which I think is a little bit unhealthy. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, she should be able to do what she wants. So I agree with both of them. Okay, I get I get that. You kind of mm. you kind of see the perspective. I Balance. like this. You just pulled like a little trick like I I'm going to be using this on another episode. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps it spicy. But if you guys like couldn't tell, spicy. the rest of us think that Chloe's right in the situation. Mm -hmm. I yeah, think it's get yeah. your man, girl. And then lastly, get um Shanti, <laughs> do you know the ep do you know the answer of the next one? Oh, um I'm going to find out. Okay, don't, so don't tell us though. Don't tell us. Okay. okay. Uh, there was recent study showing which person this year is has the most net worth, and of course we all have our ideas. Okay, we're gonna see who we really think I'm has the most net worth. I'm stuck between two, but I'm just gonna go pick one. I you think. guys ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Three, yeah. two, one. Oh, oh. you know what? I made a last minute change, and I don't know why I did that. Um, so Shanti okay, says Kylie, so and we all others say Kim. I was, I thought it might be Kim or Kylie. It's between both of them. Which one is it? So, according to Times findings, Kim Kardashian, the OG of it all, <laughs> reigns supreme with mm -hmm. a net worth estimated at about 175 million. Oh wow! Gosh. Next up is Kris Jenner at 60 million. What? what? And Mama then. Christ. Kylie with uh, 50 million. So Chris wow. is the second. I mean, if you're getting 10% off everyone, of right. course you're going to be true. up there. That makes Get sense. that money, Chris. Oh my God. Oh. Chris, please manage me. Okay, just you come in. You can reach me directly. <laughs> yeah. Listen, everybody's having babies. Well, guys, let us know in the comments if you like this new segment we're doing. And I'm just, I'm obsessed with like the, all their little faces. Like, oh my gosh, know, we'll show so you guys cute. another time. But like, so cute. Lots of faces <laughs> of our favorites. We love them. Um, Talking heads. But another segment we're bringing back this week is a segment called Kardashian Beauty Breakdown, and Ginwa took it over this week. Yay, hope you guys Ooh. enjoy it. We have a video that we just submitted in, and we are so excited for you to see what Shit. she has to say about this. Uh, little Kim concert. Kardashian's concert kit recently won the Allure's Best of Beauty Award for the Best Contour of 2017. Congrats, Kim, but unfortunately, there are people that are pissed. Now, you probably heard the mixed reviews on Kim's KKW Cream Contour when it first came out a few months ago. While beauty vloggers such as Jaclyn Hill, Desi Perkins, and Nick Tutorials each filmed the collab video with Kim sharing their admiration of the product, there were beauty bloggers such as Carly Bible and Jackie Ina who argued whether the contour kit is actually worth the investment. Now, for a product that was extremely controversial to many, it's interesting to see it win the Allure Best Contour Award for 2017. While Kim tweeted that she's honored, others thought Rihanna's Fenty Beauty should have won instead. And others also felt that Kim only got the award because she was on the cover of Allure Magazine's October issue. What did you guys think? Did Kim's contour kit really deserve the recognition? Or did the awards come for other reasons? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Ginoa Zanadine, and I'll see you next time. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I think Kim did great, but you know. Do you think yeah. she deserved the? I mean, we love the Kardashians, obviously, but yeah. let's be real, you guys. Do you think Kim deserved the best contour award for 2017? She is the contour queen, so I'm gonna she say yes. Could. I'm gonna hold on, hold on. You're you're so nice, Dakota. <laughs> Only time. here, you guys. You see him behind. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey. Okay, he's he's saying. I don't have a Rihanna cutout, but you guys, I'm always Team Kim, and she is the queen of contour. Like Rihanna just started this. Yeah, okay? she's the sure. queen, but that doesn't no. mean she like has had a makeup. Thank you so much. Brand forever. Yeah. Thank you so That's much. You can't true. just come to the show and be first in line. I mm -hmm. think I think that she got way too much hate 
people were hating on her just because she's Kim, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to say it's like the worst product ever. I think it's good. I mean, I've tried it. I definitely like the way that it blends. But do I think that it's the best contour award for 2017? I'm so sorry, you guys, but absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I don't think you so either. I'm so sorry. Kim, sorry. Okay. But no, yeah, no. You know what? For, all, for you having said all that, I really want to see you for Kardashian Beauty Breakdown review that. I really want to see you Ooh. try this contour kit. So that's right. my challenge, challenge to you. Challenge accepted. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys, this was so much fun. I yeah. love you guys so much. We're like mm. our own little family. I know. <laughs> you love me? I love you. <laughs> We're getting so personal right uh, now. <laughs> but you guys, oh, we also are going to be bringing you back next week our, your favorite segment from what I've heard in the comments, Kardashians, um, what is it, Confessionals that we did? And we have another one that we just filmed. So that's going to be next week. So you guys, make sure to stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, where can everyone find you guys on social media? You guys can find all my social media links on my website, www.kinwazi.com. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Howard the Third, and of course, my website, HowardTheThird.com. I'm mainly on Instagram, at Shanti <laughs> underscore Christina. <laughs> all right, and you guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, at Mr. Dakota T. Jones, and my show on Fridays at 1 p.m., Millennial Hollywood, on AfterBuzz TV's Popcorn Talk Ooh. Network. And we will keep up with you guys later. Bye! Bye. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. See you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. They were on a private plane, and she was there with him. So. Oh. This was like yesterday. There with him. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, no. By there. Like next to him. Uh, okay. So they were, okay. they were hanging out yesterday, is my point. I was like, oh, here they are again. Um. This is just uncomfortable. It's so weird. What did they talk about? I don't know. What did they talk about? I don't know. Honestly, props to Courtney for being civil with Scott because at the premiere they seem so cute together and mm. you know they're very civil. They're very. I cannot well, as be far civil as we with a guy see. that's dating a nineteen-year-old. I mean, that's pretty intense. But also, she is dating. How old is he? Oh, he's I think pretty he's young. Like Thirty-four. No. No. no, no he's no, no, in no. his twenty. No. no. Stop. No. 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 I jumped. Oh, the guy. Oh. Yeah, Courtney's <laughs> boyfriend <laughs> is like, like twenty-one years old. How old is Courtney? She's about to be forty. Thirty-eight. Like, that is weird, too. It's both so creeper, like Raven, Robin the Cradle. Both but, of them. But I feel like Courtney probably did it just out of revenge. While Scott, so. see, you can get a young girl while I can be with a young guy, too. The only too. thing is, the That's way so I think it, it's really sweet between them, though. They actually seem like they're really intimate. They're very, like, together. And here, I'll use you like this. <laughs> like, they're just like, oh, we're in Paris at the... Look at me, you know, like oh, God. <laughs> and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they just seem very in love, and like with Scott, it's just like, hey, yo, Bella Thorne, or hey, Sophia Richie, you want to hook so up? Like, cute. yeah, it's just like a one night. Yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. want to say it, but yeah, yeah. I know what you, like, you know, what, you know what yeah. I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then um, lastly, I'm so excited. Um, Revenge Body Season 2 has been announced, and it will premiere December 10th. Um, the Season 1 cast here in this photo spread the word by posting this awesome photo of them. And, oh, my gosh, you guys, if you haven't watched this show, you need to see Great their before show. pictures. Mm -hmm. This is their after pictures, and they look incredible. I have some friends in this photo, and um, for the next season, we're excited to cover it here on our Kardashians Weekly mm -hmm. panel. Woo! And we're going to be having some guests because I have some connections to this show and I'm so excited Yay. so we're gonna try to bring in some of the contestants some of the old contestants that I'm friends with and um, hopefully we can get um, a little word from some of the trainers because I know some of them too so Yay. I'm excited Very it's gonna exciting. be so much fun um, but yeah so I love tea time I think it's my favorite segment because I'm always down to talk about like what's yes. going on um, but before we get into the episode discussion, I did want to tell you guys about something very, very neat that's premiering October 11th on The CW. Ooh. It's the highly anticipated series premiere of Dynasty. Have you guys seen the original Dynasty? It is the um, one of the most iconic shows of the 80s. The fashion and the fight scenes alone are legendary. 
It's the CW's version of Dynasty, and it's already getting major props from the critics, and you guys will not be able to get enough of the drama and su surprises oh. and suspense. It's crazy. But get ready, because the women on this show are bosses. Oh. Bossly. Like the Kardashians. I like, I like that. <laughs> they're not fighting for a man. They're fighting for business and family. And for the Carringtons, that's the same thing. I love mm. that. I love well, that. Right, Very Kardashian-esque. Um, like but don't it. miss the series premiere, you guys. It is uh, Dynasty Wednesday, October 11th. After the season premiere of Riverdale, only on the CW. Ooh. Yes, Yay. I don't have Ashton, Ohio. Yeah, I mean, you never know. They could expand, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're it could be cute. international, but yeah. yeah. It could be cute. Um, let's jump topics Dash to Ohio. something a little bit more serious. <laughs> We've got a lot going on with this whole Kindle Pepsi controversy. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot going on with that. Um, I have seen the commercial. We've all seen the commercial. Um, but not really talking about that. Let's talk more about what happened tonight. Seeing Kindle, no matter what you all think, what the side is, mm -hmm. whose side you're on, Seeing Kendall break down like that, like this obviously affected her too. She was sad. She was hurt that she hurt other people. She may have felt like she just kind of went along and like, okay, for this shot, you're going to do this. For this shot, you're going to do this. Yeah. And as it was all pieced together, then once she kind of watched it back, maybe she realized what people meant by them saying they were offended. Right. Um, but what did you think when you saw her just like breaking down in tears? It just broke my heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you could definitely tell it was not scripted. I no. mean, sometimes during the confessionals or, you know, when they're just having their little talk, I'm like, all right, that's so scripted. Like, that's so not genuine. But honestly, it, it, it was very genuine. And I could tell that she did not mean to harm anybody. Um, I mean, I watched the commercial, and at first when I watched it, I didn't really see anything wrong with it. But then when I heard other people's perspectives, I'm like, okay, now I get it. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that felt that way. So I do get where Kendall is coming from. Mm -hmm. It's it's a sucky situation to be in. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's her first big scandal, as it her really and Kendall is. is saying. It really is. Yeah, it's just, it, it really does suck. And it's like, Kendall's just there. She's doing her job, you know what I mean? Like, usually you're the model. You're not going to look over the script and, you know, do all that extra yeah. Stuff. She's there to get paid. Hand the can. Go home. Where's her yeah. manager, like, though? Hand the can. <laughs> no, but that hand the can. Amazing. You know what I mean? Like, she literally there. hands the can. Hands the can. Hey, y'all. And she gone. Yeah. So it's really not her fault. She's just doing a job. And I feel like yeah. she's young as well. And I mean, doesn't she have a manager? Like, why wasn't her manager well, there? And they probably would have given her better advice well, on wait. whether this I'm was sure going to harm Chris her or not. There. I think Chris didn't think anything of it well, then. Well, yeah, Pepsi, because they didn't. Trust them. They didn't, right. Yeah. I don't think anybody realized what was wrong with the commercial, mm -hmm. obviously, until it aired and then all the backlash happened. I get what they were trying to do with it. I get what they were trying to do with right. it. They were trying to make yeah. like unity, let's all be together. Right. But the way it came across and the way that they, I mean, let's be honest, if this commercial would have been a hit, like, oh, all inclusive, like everyone mm -hmm. is working together to end, you know, everything that's going on mm -hmm. bad in the world. I get that, but at the same time, Pepsi would be cashing off that. Mm -hmm. Cashing yeah. off issues, yeah. like making money off of those issues. I agree, and think about it for a second. If the video wasn't so, wasn't such a big controversy, do you think it would have been that popular? I mean, that's, that's something true. that I thought about as well. I'm like, maybe it was done on purpose so it could evoke some emotions from the audience. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I don't know, but either way, I still feel bad for Kendall. I, I mean, don't. she's it's sad, Unfortunate, but the but world was telling him, like, you know Black China, mm -hmm. she's not used to this game. I know, I feel like Rob really did just jump full, like, like just face first into this whole thing, mm -hmm. but, um, I, I mean, I would like to think that he knew what was kind of happening, or maybe he was just so excited because he's like, oh my gosh, I want to get some action, like, you know, it's Black China. like, this yeah. is gonna be good for me to get me out of the house. I did like that it got him out of the house, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I, it did a lot of damage to him and the family, and now a poor child has to be brought into this yeah. situation. Yeah. That's the most disappointing thing. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, neither of them are really stable, so to have a child be brought into a situation like that, it's very sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. I agree. Sure. But I wish them only the best, and especially Rob, we're rooting for you. We are. Just be a good dad and love your child, because yeah. at least one good thing came out of this mess. Mm -hmm. You guys True. agree? Yeah, yes. yeah. definitely. Baby Jane's cute. Very cute. I know. That was so cute. Anyway, let's talk about Courtney because she has confirmed recently on social media that her and I don't know how to say his name, Yoon's, I don't um, know how to say his name for either. the first time kind of confirmed on social media that they were in vac on vacation from photos in Paris and everything. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, so it's kind of kind of neat. And then this photo here is of Scott. Scott's been kind of going around a little bit. He left Bella Thorne for another teenager, Sophia Ritchie, um, <laughs> who is Lionel Ritchie's daughter. And she's also 19 years old, if you... Yeah. That is that is just crazy. It's so just... It's, it's weird. I don't get it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, and actually, he posted a Snapchat or Instagram story. I think it was yesterday, and they were on a private plane, and she was there with him. So. Oh. This is like yesterday. There with him. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Oh, no. By there. Like, next to him. Uh, okay. So they were okay. they were hanging out yesterday, is my point. I was like, oh, here they are again. Um, this is just uncomfortable. It's so weird. What did they talk about? I don't know. What did they talk about? I don't know. Honestly, props to Courtney for being civil with Scott because at the premiere they seem so cute together and mm-hmm. you know they're very civil. They're very. I cannot well, as be far civil as with a guy it. that's mm-hmm. dating a nineteen-year-old. I mean, that's pretty intense. But also, she is dating. How old is he? Oh, he's, he's pretty like young. Like thirty-four. No, 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 no he's no, in no, his twenty. No. No. no, 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 no. I just oh, the guy. Courtney's oh. boyfriend is like twenty-one years old. How old is Courtney? She's about to be forty. Thirty-eight. Like, that is weird, too. It's both so creeper, like Raven, Robin the Cradle. Both but, of them. But I feel like Courtney probably did it just out of revenge. While Scott, so. see, you can get a young girl while I can be with a young guy, too. The only too. thing is, the That's way I think it, it's really sweet between them, though. They actually seem like they're really intimate. They're very, like, together. And here, I'll use you like this. <laughs> like, they're just like, oh, we're in Paris at the... Look at me, you know? Like, oh, God. Paris. And everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they just seem very in love. And, like, with Scott, it's just like, hey, yo, Bella Thorne, or hey, Sophia Richie, you want to hook so up? Like, cute. yeah, it's just like a one night. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say it, but yeah. Yeah. I know what you're, like, you know what you know what yeah. I'm gonna say. Okay. Um, and then um, lastly, I'm so excited. Um, Revenge Body season two has been announced, and it will premiere December 10th. Yay, um, then. And then, like everything happening, it just yeah. be it would be like yeah. such hard. a weird, hard. shocking, right? Uh, feeling. But there's that, and then there's what Caitlin is doing, where she's just like doing all of that, but then not treating her family mm-hmm. right at the same time. So it's right. almost yeah. not even like a transition issue. It's a Caitlin issue. Like yeah. she needs to realize that she can't be secretive and catty and you know telling stories about how Robert Kardashian only um, mm-hmm. represented OJ to kind of out of spite for Chris and like Chris's new relationship whenever she was with it's just like how much hatred did you have all those years like Mm. what exactly what really made you be that evil after like 23 years like these were your pretty much your kids I know you know you came into Rob's uh, Rob's life Rob Jr. when he was pretty much a baby true and then you grew up with this whole family like after 23 years and then you're gonna say oh all this other stuff like that's messed up Caitlin it yeah. is together. It's yeah. weird. It's out, it's kind of out of nowhere almost. Right. And like Kim even called her and said, yo, I'm not even going to talk to you about what I really want to talk to you about. Leave Kendall out of this whole Pepsi thing. Don't talk about it. Just let it alone. And of course, Caitlin had to go in in this radio interview and mm-hmm. be like, well, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Just run the dang thing. Where she said that in the phone call <laughs> to, to Kim. But then she ended like, up talking about it on the radio. I don't think Caitlin mm-hmm. means any harm when it comes to Kylie and Kendall. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about the Kardashians. But for the no. Jenners, I'm pretty sure she has their best interest in mind. But she just doesn't know how to act. And she, she just needs a filter mm-hmm. on what yeah. to say and what not to say exactly. in the media. Yeah. Exactly. Do we think she's just trying to stay like relevant? Is I that think why she she's is. doing all this? Like, Let's be honest. Talk? Nobody's really talking talking about her recently, no offense. And but then I her mean, show did get canceled too. But it's so yeah. weird because she used to not be like that. Like when she was right. Bruce, like she didn't, he didn't like the the fame and the cameras and wanted to stay at yeah. home at night and be, do his airplane thing. Mm-hmm. And so that was because do you think now he's made this total 360 and now this is kind of who she really is? I would yeah. say that obviously like she suppressed a lot in her past. Mm-hmm. So for now she's just like out there, like, just like, like really vomit. just living her life, but yeah. like at the same yeah. time hurting people along the way, which is sad. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but uh, something that I am excited for, this is a new segment called Kardashian Corner. Um, and we are going to tell you guys <laughs> whose side we are on each week about different, um, like different situations. Yeah. So there's three situations. So between Chris and Kate, who do you sympathize with more in this situation? Three, or tell me when you're ready. Oh Everyone gosh. ready? I'm ready? Yes. Three. Hold on. Two. Put it up, Shawty. Why can I see your answer? Oh, three. <laughs> two. One. <laughs> Team right. Chris all the way. We love you, Mama Chris. <laughs> we love you, Mama Chris. Um, but we have all their heads sure. cut out. It's super cute. And uh, yeah, anyway, so next situation. So Kim was kind of saying, I don't know. Chloe seems like she's kind of throwing her life. Um, right into this relationship and just giving all to her man by being <laughs> basic, basic pumpkin spice. I'm flavor. kind of like interested to see the blueberry mixes with the pumpkin spice, but we're gonna see here. I don't think I've ever heard of that flavor. Whoa, it's a lot. We're gonna we're gonna let that simmer a little bit. Um, right. But you guys, let's talk about this tea time. We've got a lot to talk about. Okay, so TMZ, we love them, and you know what's funny is more times than not they are 
really like legit. Like mm-hmm. they know what they're talking about. And if TMZ says it now, I'm like, oh, it must be true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have a lot of true mm-hmm. reports. Usually they're pretty spot on. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they report that Chloe is pregnant and she's about three months along and the the baby daddy is Tristan Thompson. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think of this? This is shocking coming shocking. off the news that Kylie's pregnant. I know. What's I'm, going on? I'm happy. I mean, I love Chloe. I've made no little secret about that. You know, she's my girl. Um, <laughs> so she deserves a happiness. I mean, it's been a year. Uh, she seems like she's very, like, invested in him, and he's very invested in her. Mm-hmm. And, you know, maybe she's probably going to be a great, maybe she's a great stepmother already because Tristan already has a nine-month-year-old. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, um, you know, she deserves her baby. She deserves it. Yeah, I, I feel like um, Chloe has wanted kids for so long, and we've been able to see that, especially on um, Chloe and Lamar. I feel like her um, main desires are having a husband and family. That's kind of what I get from her. Like, that's her kind of true dream. So I'm excited for her because I know it's kind of been a long struggle. Um, mm-hmm. But also, yeah, Tristan just had a baby. That's kind of weird, right? Oh, yeah. Like, he just had a baby. Wow. Yeah, you know, it's a little drama. He's yeah. very lucky with her. It's a whole other story. <laughs> That's all I'm excited it's for Chloe. Thing. I think I'm more excited for Chloe being pregnant than Kylie. I just feel like Chloe's mm-hmm. more ready yeah. to be a mother than Kylie is. And they seem like they're very happy together. So congrats, Chloe. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the timing again. I know I was wrong, and I said uh. in the last episode <laughs> that Chloe is not... No, not Chloe. Kylie. Kylie. Kylie's not pregnant, and I think she is, right? Yeah. yeah. Hasn't been, it hasn't been confirmed by her, but 99.9% mm-hmm. she is pregnant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I was right that it was such a strategic move that they announced that Kylie and Chloe are both pregnant around the premiering of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's For so sure. true. Yeah. yeah. The only thing is, my biggest thing was, I, I was like, oh, you know what? Kylie is Kim's surrogate. Like, that's what's going on. <laughs> um, now that Chloe's pregnant, who knows? Maybe, because Chloe has in, in previous episodes stated that she would be Kim's surrogate if she wanted. So and what if Chloe? Reasonable. Yeah, what would I mean? I no, personally would I don't love. Think she I've is. seen like a report where they've shown their surrogate walking yeah. around. It's not one of the sisters. I saw. It Wait, too. you saw like a report with like the actual mm-hmm. surrogate? I saw the photo. Yeah. yeah. What does she look like? She's she's black. African American. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she's black. I mean, they didn't show her face to protect her privacy, but yeah, go ahead, like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. I was like, what does she look like? <laughs> she's black. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I definitely got already has a nine month year old. Uh-huh. Yeah, but um, you know she deserves her baby. She deserves. Yeah, it. I I feel like um, Chloe has wanted kids for so long, and we've been able to see that, especially on um, Chloe and Lamar. I feel like her um, main desires are having a husband and family. That's kind of what I get from her. Like that's her kind of true dream. So I'm excited for her because I know it's kind of been a long struggle. Um, mm-hmm. But also, yeah, Tristan just had a baby. That's kind of weird, right? Oh, like, yeah. he just had a baby. Wow. Yeah, you know, it's a little drama. He's yeah. very lucky with her. It's a whole other story. <laughs> That's all I'm excited it's for Chloe. Thing. I think I'm more excited for Chloe being pregnant than Kylie. I just feel like Chloe's mm-hmm. more ready to be a mother than Kylie is. And they seem like they're very happy together. So congrats, Chloe. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the timing again. I know I was wrong, and I said uh. in the last episode <laughs> that Chloe is not... No, not Chloe. Kylie. Kylie Kylie's not pregnant, and I think she is, right? Yeah. yeah. Hasn't been, it hasn't been confirmed by her, but 99.9% mm-hmm. she is pregnant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I was right that it was such a strategic move that they announced that Kylie and Chloe are both pregnant around the premiering of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's For so sure. true. Yeah. yeah. The only thing is, my biggest thing was, I, I was like, oh, you know what? Kylie is Kim's surrogate. Like, that's what's going on. <laughs> um, now that Chloe's pregnant, who knows? Maybe, because Chloe has in, in previous episodes stated that she would be Kim's surrogate if she wanted. So and what if Chloe? Reasonable. Yeah, what would I mean? I no, personally would I don't love. Think she I've is. seen like a report where they've shown their surrogate walking yeah. around. It's not one of the sisters. I saw. It Wait, too. you saw like a report with like the actual mm-hmm. surrogate? I saw the photo. Yeah. yeah. What does she yeah. look like? She's. She's black. African American. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she's black. I mean, they didn't show her face to protect her privacy, but yeah, go ahead, like girl. <laughs> that was amazing. I was like, what does she look like? <laughs> she's black. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I definitely got to look this up. Yeah, so I, I don't think, I think that uh, is fake news. Okay. Just, yeah. Hmm, yeah. we'll see. I kind of want it to be one of the girls. Like, I think that'd be like a whole other, like, I'd love to see this play out on the show. 
But, but I don't think that's like a luc lucratively a smart decision. Like, mm -hmm. how would that help their brand at all? You know what I mean? Like, ruining one of their bodies for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> you know true. That's true. Um, but can we talk about how this family just apparently doesn't show? Because, like, let's talk about this. Kylie, we can kind of see a little bit, but for her to be able to be like three months, maybe four months along, like, she's not big. Like, she's. At all. If anything, no. it just looks like maybe she's just like had a little bit too much Chinese food that day and like, <laughs> maybe a little bloated. But that's it. I thought Kylie was six months. No, I don't I think so. Well, she's like five, five to seven. seven. I did too. Maybe she is. I don't remember. Yeah. I'll have to. I'll have to look that. Either look way, that she again. should be showing more than she is. Yeah. She's three months, three four months along. Oh. Okay. Yeah. How long? How? Uh, we'll what about check Chloe? that. I know. What about Kylie? Kylie? Just call. Well, me. I'm just saying. <laughs> someone that I know kind of told me that. Okay. So, Wait, I still feel bad for Kendall. I, I mean, know. she's. <laughs> She's you just, just like, I want to do everybody. my job. Yeah. yeah. And that's one thing, but it's hard for her. You know, she is really young, but she needs to just understand, like, you're not going to please everybody. Can Everybody's going to have something to say. Since we're talking about Kendall, you guys, can we talk about her lip injections, please? please. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> her lips are Let's so... Let's sip some tea for this. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, Lord. oh my! It's like okay. why? But yeah. why? Why did she need to do that? Why? Why? She's, she's a, so beautiful. She's so natural. She's beautiful. Either way, but um, <sighs> for her, because she said before, oh, Kylie just overlined my lips on this one thing, which may have been. Mm -hmm. right. But nowadays, like, like when you she turned to the tell. side, you it was tell. like a yeah. like a thicker the duck upper lip. lip. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> the which, duck lip. That's you know what? It is. It is. It is. <laughs> it's like we're not judging. We're just saying, like, you know, maybe, maybe. Own up to it whenever someone asks. Like She's, I think, I think Kendall. I mean, when you talk about the Kardashians, some people stand out to you more than others. But when people say Kendall. She's the most natural one out natural of all of them because she got the least work done. And now with the lip injections, I'm like, no, please don't follow that path. Because she was beautiful. just so natural. She's she gorgeous. Is. So beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. It's like, ugh, God. I know. It makes me sad. I know. <laughs> Either way, she's still beautiful. But just, girl, you don't need anything. You're, yeah. you're wonderful no, you the way you are. you do not need it. Yeah. Yeah. At least it's just lip injections. I mean, it goes after six months, though. That's true. Right. I mean, and I like temporary. I yeah. did really mm -hmm. respect how Kylie came forth and said, "Hey, I got lip injections and this is why." Like I appreciated that from mm -hmm. her because it was honest and it was like, "Hey, I didn't like this about myself. I changed it. Just wanted you to know, not trying to hide anything." I I like that. Yeah. yeah. You think Kendall will tell us like do a little no. like, "Oh no." I don't well, think I don't think people are going to like a, I don't think a lot of people are going to know. Or do you think people will know? People know. I mean, we, yeah. we saw it. Uh, we like, know. <laughs> we picked up on it quick. So. Yeah, we're like, eh. <laughs> And lastly, I want to talk about Caitlyn for a little bit. We won't go too much into it because it's like the same story each time. But um, she just keeps on with this book, man. I need to read this book because apparently it's lit. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's so a much lot. information. I know. Mm -hmm. But uh, just a few topics that they talked about was that she got gender reassignment surgery, like the final, final surgery. And she didn't tell Chris, she didn't tell anyone except for, I think she told Kendall and Kylie before the book came out. Um, so she told her direct children, and then mm -hmm. other than that, left mm -hmm. everyone else in the dark. So seeing Chris cry, it really did make me sad. I was like, oh, Chris, like, I get what you're going through. You know, yeah. like, like I, I can't even imagine, but I can I can put myself in that frame of mind, and I would be really sad and hurt. Like, it's one thing this that she's going through these things and these changes, but to not tell anyone and not tell your own family what's going yeah. on, like, that's mm -hmm. just... You know, you should at least have the decency to tell your family before you tell the world. I'm just starting to think Caitlyn does not see them as family. That's sad. Yeah, I think no they're really yeah. removed. It would just be so weird. Can you imagine being married to somebody for X amount of years, having two kids with them, Ooh. and then like everything happening? It just yeah. be it would be yeah. like it's such hard. a weird, it's hard. shocking right. uh, feeling. But there's that. And then there's what so, <laughs> keeps it spicy. But if you guys like couldn't tell, spicy. the rest of us think that Chloe's right in the situation. Mm -hmm. I yeah, think it's, get yeah. your man, girl. And then lastly, get um, Shanti, <laughs> do you know the do you know the answer of the next one? Oh, um, I'm gonna find out. Okay, so don't, don't tell us though. Don't tell us. Okay. okay. Uh, there was recent study showing which person this year is has the most net worth, and of course we all have our ideas. Okay, we're gonna see who we really think has I'm the most net worth. I'm stuck between two, but. I'm just gonna go pick one. I you think. guys ready? Mm hmm Yeah, I think. Three, yeah. two, one. Oh, oh. you know what? Wants... I made a last minute change, and I don't know why I did that. Um, so Shanti okay, says Kylie, so and we all have our six. I was, I thought it might be Kim or Kylie. It's between both of them. Which one is it? So, according to Times Findings, Kim Kardashian, the OG of it all, <laughs> reigns supreme with mm -hmm. a net worth estimated at about one seventy-five million. Oh wow! Next up is Kris Jenner at sixty million. What? Wow. And Mama then, Chris. 
Kylie with uh, 50 million. So Chris wow. is the second. I mean, if you're getting 10 percent off everyone, of Great. course you're going to be true. up there. That's true. Get sense. that money, Chris. Oh my God. Oh. Chris, please manage me. Okay. Just you come can reach me directly. <laughs> yeah. Listen, everybody's having babies. Well, guys, let us know in the comments if you like this new segment we're doing. And I just, I'm obsessed with like the, all their little faces. Like, oh my gosh, we'll show so you guys cute. another time. But like. So cute. Lots of faces <laughs> of our favorites. We love them. Um, Talking heads. But another segment we're bringing back this week is a segment called Kardashian Beauty Breakdown. And Ginwa took it over this week. Yay. Hope you guys Ooh. enjoy it. We have a video that we just submitted in, and we are so excited for you to see what she has to say about this. Uh, little Kim bit Kardashian's concert. concert kit recently won the Allure's Best of Beauty Awards for the Best Contour of 2017. Congrats, Kim. But unfortunately, there are people that are pissed. Now, you probably heard the mixed reviews on Kim's KKW Cream Contour when it first came out a few months ago. While beauty vloggers such as Jaclyn Hill, Desi Perkins, and Nick Tutorials, each filmed the collab video with Kim, sharing their admiration of their products, there were beauty bloggers such as Carly Bible and Jackie Ina who argued whether the Contour Kit is actually worth the investment. Now, for a product that was extremely controversial to many, it's interesting to see it win the Allure Best Contour Award for 2017. While Kim tweeted that she's honored, others thought Rihanna's Fenty Beauty should have won instead. And others also felt that Kim only got the award because she was on the cover of Allure Magazine's October issue. What did you guys think? Did Kim's contour kit really deserve the recognition? Or did the awards come for other reasons? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Ginwa Zanadine, and I'll see you next time. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I think Kim did great, but you know. Do you think yeah. she deserved the? I mean, we love the Kardashians, obviously.